All right, hello, and welcome to the DTV channel. Today I will be your host, Leo, or Big Thwomp. I'm not sure what you're going to want to call me. Today I've been sent three sets by LEGO to review, meaning this is a sponsored video by them. These sets come from the upcoming Star Wars Wave, releasing on April 26th. Um, however, just because this is a sponsored video does not mean that these opinions are not my own. I do have certain opinions about these sets, and we will be starting with the first, which is called the Death Star Trench Run. So let's take a look at it. This is the Death Star Trench Run, uh, set number 75329. Has a total of 665 pieces, uh, part of the 18 plus diorama collection for LEGO Star Wars. This set releases on April 26, 2022, retailing for about $59.99 USD. Instead of having minifigures as most LEGO Star Wars sets do, these have four micro scale spaceship uh, builds. The first of which is Luke's X-Wing from Episode 4. This is the ship that uses the most parts out of the four ships included. It was very cool to see the ship come to life using these small parts and slowly take shape. Uh, right now you can see the side build of the X-Wing. It is a unique build per se, but it is also very fragile um, right now looking around. It, it is made up of a lot of parts, however, it is <laughs> the front part of the ship is only held on by a single stud. You can now see the TIE Fighter on screen. Although it is a very different build from the X-Wing, it's a lot smaller and more compact. It's still very fun to build. However, it is also very delicate as the wings can get easily knocked off as there's still only just a one stud connection holding him in place. Using the lightsaber piece for the lasers is a very nice touch, however. I do enjoy that a lot, but they do have the same issue of falling off. The ships overall are very nice and do bring the set together in terms of scale. This set does come with four unique printed pieces, one of which is a quote from Darth Vader, the LEGO Star Wars logo, personally one of my favorites, R2's head, and a TIE Fighter window that is used on the three TIE Fighters. This set does have a very fun build for both the base of the Death Star and the wall of the Death Star as well. Um, you can see the build slowly pop towards you as you build and build upon the layers of small pieces here and there. This does make it feel like a very unique set compared to the many of the sets I've seen over the years and does make it for a very fun overall build for this set. Uh, obviously this is meant towards more of an older audience and I do like when sets go that way as sometimes getting a playset is kind of annoying every so often. I will reiterate my main complaint with this set is how flimsy the ship builds really feel as trying to even slightly move them around does sometimes knock off a wing, knock off the nose, but other than that it is pretty nice display piece once you get it the way you want it to look on your shelf. It is a fun build overall. I do know this set will not be for everybody as I know some people collect LEGO Star Wars for the minifigures, maybe the large vehicles to display, or maybe some other reason, I'm not too sure. Overall I do personally feel that this is a very nice compact display piece that you can have showing an iconic scene from episode 4. And personally I would like to see more sets of this scale. I really don't know what sets they could or will eventually choose if they continue with this, but personally I would like to see something maybe like the episode 3 intro of two small Jedi Starfighters or maybe something silly like a pod race, the beginning or maybe something in the middle. I would enjoy more of sets of this scale as just seeing small pieces come together and make a very nice compact scene from the movies is extremely fun and does make it a fun build. Overall I really do like the diorama collection as it's slowly building upon itself for LEGO Star Wars. This set does solidify that for me as it's a more complex build using smaller pieces to really bring the set to life and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of the sets that will be coming out on this line and um, I do look forward to reviewing the leather two that I've received. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below whether or not you guys like this set, whether or not you're going to be picking it up, 
and what you'd like to see in the future from this type of scale for LEGO if they do continue it. If you like the video, like the video. If not, that's all right. Uh, if you do like LEGO and LEGO content in general, think about subscribing to the TTV channel. We do have a lot of other content made by people that know how to do things better than myself, as this is the first time that I do get hands-on on a review myself and actually do record. All right, and thank you for making it this far. I greatly do appreciate it if you did, and I'll see you guys soon with another set review.